here at the Carnero area of Napa playing bocce ball with Armando Ceja. And she's killed me in bocce. <laughs> These Brazilian ladies can definitely play. Oh, there you go. Yeah! Oh. Perfect. Oh, it's bocce. And she definitely can throw those balls. <laughs> this man knows how to have fun. So, Mando, what's next? Well, you know, after a uh, great game of bocce, okay. I think the evening is coming and my nephew Ariel is quite the oh, dancer. Are you going to dance with me? If we have to, we must. We'll say you. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's a natural. And spin, ta, ta, and you step back. Oh, what? Oh, she got it. She got it. <laughs> getting hot again. It must be all the lessons around me. But Armando, what do you have that will ease my pain? I think pain? we should start enjoying some more I vino. We should. Right? I think we ease should. your pain. If it doesn't ease it, it'll definitely refresh your palate. Mm. This is our Napa Valley Chardonnay. Part of the components, part of the characteristic of this wine is a lot of tropical fruit. Ooh, tropical fruit. It's like a lot of citrus, grapefruit. I'm South American. I love tropical fruit. Pineapple, a little bit pineapple. of pineapple. Well, I miss, Vanilla. I miss Brazilian pineapple. We don't have Brazilian pineapple in this country. Well, we should definitely get some. We but if, since we don't, a little Chardonnay oh, will yes. work. Yes, see, you are eating my pain. Right. <laughs> mm, Refreshing. Delicious. Delicioso. And what, what is Emilia doing? Over Amelia, there? I think, is going to invite us to pair the, our wines with some food. So let's go let's see what go? she's okay. up to. Emilia, this looks amazing. What is this? We are demystifying the way people pair uh, food with wine. I have carnitas here that are on top of uh, arugula, then jalapenos, tomatoes, onions, a uh, squeeze of lime juice, and salt, and cilantro, which will be lovely with the ceja pino noir. Wow. It works, Emilia. Vino cantos amor. Yes. Wine, song, and love. And if we, we, that's why we're here, everybody. And if we don't have it, why bother, right? You know, it really is our, our motto. It's our philosophy. Uh, we live it, we breathe it, and uh, we enjoy it every day. This has been amazing. Familia Seja, thank you for having me. You have a new friend. Welcome to the family. Thank you. Thank you. Salud. Nuestra casa. This is Ixta. Amazing, good food, good wine, great girl. What else do you need? <laughs> Tell me about the food. What so, we, we have calabacitas okay. with uh, frijoles de la olla, a little bit of uh, cream and cheese on top. It's a vegetarian dish. Uh, and then we have uh, crispy shrimp tacos here okay, that have a little bit of uh, chile de arbol aioli for some kick. Tortillas in Mexico, so when they started ordering. When they started in and started making tacos with them, they called them gringas. It's foreign. Oh. Gringos, right. Uh, and then we brought them, we brought I them here. I think I like gringos tortillas, gringas. These are, these are really, really good. Really popular uh, at our restaurants. We are drinking uh, some Sean Miner. Uh, it's a red blend from Napa, which I think you were at a little while ago. Because yes. you said you're an expert. I'm an expert in Napa. A wine expert. Not really, yes. but I am. So how Dig do in. I so, for those who don't know how to eat a taco. Which apparently Brazilians don't no, know. No, that's how to not true. Thing. I never he said, said that. that to me before. I never said that. Uh, uh, Dig in. And then? And, yep, there you go. Oh my. A little spicy. A little spicy. I, don't know. I wasn't ready. I like spicy, but. It's delicious. It's Mexican food. It should be all, always a little spicy. It's really good. Cheers. Sour lunch and chips. Saudi. We have a special treat for you today. We're in Tijuana, Mexico, about to dive into some delicious Chinese Mexican food with the beautiful chef Nancy Leon, co-owner of Chance Bistro. Let's go inside. Let's meet Nancy. Oi, Nancy. Ni hao. Wow. Como estas? I think you just spoke Portuguese, Chinese. Spanish, and Chinese. Yeah. Of course, we're international sensations, and I have to let people know that we are international sensations, yeah, right? Yeah, you are. You are. You are in Mexico, so we are international. We're international. And you're doing Chinese food in Mexico. I know. Tell me about it. Mi abuelo fue de Hong Kong, se vino a Tijuana, y he crecido con todas las influencias muy, muy, muy orientales. Y he querido tener la misma tradición. Soy la tercera generación en el cual he puesto este nuevo restaurante con nuevas influencias, cosas modernas, que realmente la gente puede venir a probar. Welcome to the wow, it smells so good here. Thank you very much. There are the pop stickers. Ooh. Your mouth. Can I try it? Yeah, sure. Your mouth is going to melt. Try that. My mouth is always melting. So how do I eat it? Just rub a little bit. Okay. Dip it in put a little bit of salt in there. Mmm. -hmm. So 
little bit spicy. Have a little bit of wasabi inside. It's delicious. Thank you very much. Are you ready for my kampao chicken? Kampao what? Kampao. Oh my gosh, pao does not mean the same thing in Portuguese. What that means? We should say that on television. Why not? Are you gonna cook it? Yeah, I'm Let's ready. Go. I'm gonna Let's learn. Go. I'm gonna learn how to make kampao. Gabriela is in the kitchen. Coming with a nice red wine. Brother? Oh, wow. wow. Hi there. Wow, beauty runs in the family. Can you sit with me? Or with us? I meant to say with us. <laughs> with us. I don't know. <laughs> mm, they all smell good. Okay, so uh, what are we doing here? We're we eating. Okay. We actually, um, you want some wine, right? Yes, I want some wine that goes well with the. Okay, with the you, dish want, with you want mucho or you want poquito? Mucho. Mucho wine. Okay. I need mucho wine. One for you, yeah. and for Nancy? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. More for us, more for us. Okay. Yes. What about for yes. me? For you, anything you want to have. Okay. Yes. Are you, you sure? Have about it all. That? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's show people how you make your madness in your kitchen. Beautiful. Let's go. Follow me. Let's okay. go to my kitchen. If you see, come I love here. a man that can cook. Happy to hear that because I also <laughs> love to cook. Oh, good. <laughs> We're going to make a paella. Um, and that's a Valenciana paella, okay, from okay. Valencia. What we use is garlic, of course, it's one of the main ingredients, olive oil. Then we have uh, green peas. Chickpeas. Chickpeas, thank you very much. Tomatoes, cilantro, piquillo peppers, sausage, shrimp, calamari. But the beauty about this recipe mm -hmm. is that is my father's recipe. <laughs> and I love that. That's so it's what it a is. family recipe. It's a family recipe. So we can't, you can't give it to me if I want the recipe. Yes, I can. Of course, you I can. can? Give it. For, for, for you? Oh, of I don't course, know. I, don't know. I, I, I know I can get away with many things, but I didn't know but, I could get no, away yes, with a family can, recipe. Right. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. We're on fire. We're on fire. Yes, garlic, like I told you. It's very simple. If you have the heart, you have the love for it, you enjoy air cooking every single day. Bit of it. Oh. See, it looks very colorful, very pretty. Very Spanish. Okay. Paella made by Gabriela Diaz. Huh? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And the flavors is what really counts. It smells so good. Smells so good. So let's pair this with an amazing wine and Perfect. eat it because I can't wait. I don't, yeah. I don't. Almost. So let's go. Okay. Tell me about the wine we are pairing oh with. The, the wine, I chose the wine. Uh -huh. It's a Chardonnay. It's nice and light and it's buttery, and it goes perfectly well with the paella that you're about to taste. You don't mind if I taste it too. I am no. the chef, and I want to see what is it that I do. Oh, wow. Right? Let me know what you think. I think it's amazing. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's irresistible. <laughs> it's irresistible. Huh? You cook with love, and every single one of my dishes has my name written all over it. Chef Hugo Molina. I mean it. This is delicious, Chef Hugo Molina. Muchas gracias. Much, no.